condition that can strike an otherwise healthy child, but knowing the symptoms of osteomyelitis can make the treatment much more manageable. We find out more in today's Health Matters. Bacteria. It not only lurks on doorknobs, keyboards, and playgrounds, it lurks in our bodies, whether we like it or not. Everyone has a little bit of bacteria traveling around their system, and that can be caused by something as benign as brushing your teeth. Sometimes the bacteria can travel into the bloodstream and affect the bones. called osteomyelitis. Children are the most vulnerable. Pediatric orthopedic surgeon Dr. Matthew Wagner demonstrates how a child's knee can be affected. They have leaky blood vessels. The endothelium are the cells that cover blood vessels, and they're not as tight, making this transient bacteria that's in all of our systems a little bit more likely to exit in these areas. The knee in a skeletally immature patient is affected in over 50% of spontaneous acute hematogenous. As Dr. Wagner explains, the bacteria can spread dramatically. Once it has established itself within the bone, the bone itself actually has a network of what's called haversion canals that allows cells within the bone to communicate with each other. The bacteria can then use that to communicate. That's when children start to show symptoms. Which probably one of the most common is pain in an extremity, a limp, especially in young children where they can't tell you mommy it hurts here uh, you will see them favoring one leg certainly there can be swelling over the area, and fever. These are some of the more common symptoms. These symptoms should not be ignored. Osteomyelitis can be treated with antibiotics. For those with more severe cases, surgery may be in order. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar. Infants can also be affected. The infection can spread to the joint and cause arthritis.